Three dollar bill, y'all. Yeah, he did. Oh, that's cool. He's worked with Sepultura, Corn. How did you guys hook up with them? Was that a thing you'd done through a Corn uh, well, family? Well, yeah, sort of. I mean, you know, they got the tape. I mean, I've known Corn forever. I mean, back in the days, I'd say it was '93. Uh, they opened up for House of Pain. You know what I mean? Uh, they opened up for House of Pain. It was us, like Biohazard and Corn, and Corn was opening up. And uh, I mean, okay, I've, watched, back, I've watched those guys go from a little. Uh, Winnebago, you know, to now they're just, you know, the, the boy. That's right. And you guys, I mean, how did you end up hooking up with Corn? Were you doing their tattoos or something like that, Fred? Well, I went to, actually went to see a show, man. They were uh, playing in town, and I heard a demo somehow, and they were, they were opening up for Sick of It All at this place called the Milk Bar in Jacksonville. Hey, Jacksonville. That's and uh, it was like, I went to the show just to check them out, and I'm like, the only, there was like 20 people there, and the only guy knew the words, and so they were just hanging out on the floor. You know how you do when you're before you're somebody, you're just hanging out? Yeah. So they were just hanging out, and I was like, hey, you guys want any tattoos, man? And they called each other uh, Brian and uh, Reggie back then. You know, like, yeah, Brian and Reggie will have one, John Davis told me. So I was like, yeah, I've been tattooing for like months, man. I'm killer. You know, I only been tattooing like a week or two. Yeah. <laughs> so I got into the house, and I tattooed them, and we were so drunk. We were like wasted drunk. It was just like... We went to the house, monkey, head, filthy, and we were at my house, and I drew up this graffiti thing, because I love graffiti, and the K kind of looks like an H, yeah. so instead of corn, maybe it's horn, yeah. so, but, you know, and I'm like, hey, check this out, man, and they're like, dude, that's bad, let's do it, rah, this is Head's first tattoo, so we're tattooing, like, five in the morning, wasted, and, like, it came out, looks a little like horn, so they dogged me out to the day. <laughs> and then, you know, a few months later, I gave Fieldy a tattoo, this corn around his ankle, some old school cholo style, and I uh, got a lot better since then. And uh, that's how we met, man. And we just, after building a foundation with them, every time they come in town, they'd either call us to wash their clothes at our house or <laughs> to hang out because they knew nobody in Jacksonville. Yeah, so that, that's how kind of we got together at Ross, is Fieldy got a tape. You know, and he passed it along to Ross, and Ross was really interested, so... It's like the producer guy. Yeah. Cool. You know, yeah, he was so pumped up, cool. you know, and uh, he was, it was a good experience to work with him on first record. Excellent. Okay, right now we're going to check out your latest video. Take a look from the album Three Dollar Bill, y'all. Here's one biscuit with Faith on 120 Minutes. The biscuit, now earlier on we saw the Faith video. Now, that's not the first video you've directed for the band, though, Fred, but it's cool, and it kind of pays homage to that whole Home Sweet Home, Molly Crew kind of vibe. Cool. in the video itself and those guys actually love the video i was talking to them about it well that's ru that rules man that's an honor those guys are made me gave me a great vision of wanting to be a rock star looking at those videos and making this video i just wanted to like a real raw what it's like to be on tour with corn and ice cube and romstein and orgy i mean just this huge tour and just how much fun it is and just like being a rock star and like it this is just great i mean it's it's just the best thing ever. I, I have nothing, no problems with it. I'm so stoked to be here and directing that video is just like a vision that everyone should see. You know? yeah. yeah, and it's cool. It's like everybody who went to that show now like can always touch how it was to be there when they see the video. To go, oh my God, I was there. You know what I mean? That's how it was. It's people, like bah, 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 yeah. right under your <laughs> hands, and you're just like, yeah. It yeah, just it makes cool. you crazy, man. Yeah, so the video cool. kind of is fun like that for me. That's cool. You know, I directed an hour or two, and that was kind of like a more darker vision. But I'm getting more into directing. I think we're going to keep going with some directing. Stuff. You've been actually helping sign other bands as well, too. Now, didn't you do uh, some stuff with the guys from Cole, um, Cole as well? Or yeah, I mean, they're from Jacksonville also, yeah. you know. And Cole was great, I, I knew it was great and singer, so uh, I put the band, you know, in front of some people, got them signed to our label, and then uh, another band from Massachusetts called Stained. Stained. They're on a stand of Electra right now. They're hot, and it's oh, like, uh, th you know, it's good to be A&R, too. It's like, I want everybody to make it. If you got demos or, you know, you don't have to be like us. You can be alternative. Send them to me at Flip. I mean, it's like everybody out there, it's like all oh, it kind of almost sucks that some of the bands are so good, and they'll never get anywhere because they don't know anybody or they don't get the tape to somebody. Exactly. And it's and it's a shame because there's great, great bands out there, get man. The address. Bring them to me, baby. Me. I'm going to sign you up and you good. Yeah. Check it out. Well, more of the guys from Limp Bizkit, 120 Minutes Returns. Till then, the top 10 singles in alternative music around America this week. Hey. 20 Minutes, Matt Pinfield here with Fred and Lethal from Limp Bizkit. One thing we quickly want to mention is a friend of yours passed away. We just want to say, well, you know. Yeah, a big shout out yeah. from 120 Minutes and... Went Biscuit and Matt Pinfield to Lynn from Snot. God bless you, and yeah, you know you're always going to be there, and uh, you, you'd be you'd want us to be here having a good time and doing what we do. So that's why we're here doing it. 
no reason to mourn. Just remember that life is really short. It surely is, without a question. Mm. And uh, you know, so memories of him. Let's let's talk a bit about Lethal. How you got hooked up with these guys too? Because for the people that are watching, most people probably know this, but let's tell them that you were involved in House of Pain. Yeah, definitely. Um, you and Eric and Danny Boy. Yeah, way back in the days, you know. Uh, how I met these guys. Um, ninety-six. I think it was about ninety-six. Uh, Saint we Patty's. Were, yeah, we were doing a Saint Patrick's Day run. About seven Irish. shows in Florida, uh, and these guys opened up for us. And. Uh, they had some pretty cool songs. They did a cover of uh, Paula Abdul. What's up? Yeah, straight up? Straight up. Straight up now, tell me. I was like, oh, man, these guys are wild. Me together. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I love to hear that, man. Yeah. Have you yeah, done, you've cool. done that in years, though, right? We haven't done you've it, but we might back. bring it back. Yeah. yeah. But really, he was like, like thinking, it was like, it was just weird. We were going, House of Pain. We're, we're touring with House of Pain. You know, this, this, <laughs> this St. Patty's Day tour, and Lee was just so cool. Like, he was in the rock stuff, and we didn't ever think it would be like that, you know? And, we just became like friends, right, and he was actually yeah. going to produce the record first. We went to L.A. No, we went to New York. We were doing. We were going to do an EP, and we went to New York for a few weeks, and we started recording, and uh, it turned out really good. And then we started sending out samplers everywhere, and uh, you know, it just started catching on the buzz. The kids started calling the number, going on the internet, getting all these tapes, and then uh, and then what happened was just everything started unfolding and went on the road. And at the time, you know. Uh, House of Pain, we were having a little bit of troubles as far as we just wanted to do something new, something different. I don't think people were ready for that third album because it was a little more dark, a little more underground. You know, up in that it wasn't, it wasn't, yeah. it wasn't about beer drinking and partying Fair all day. You know, it was like you know, it was a great album. Boom, shalak, lock, boom, yeah, that was a great, yeah. that was a great record. Though. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, they, they got their place, and it's it's what it is, and it'll always be that. You know, but we could have did like twenty jump arounds and then not not had anything, but. You know, now we have we have the third album, which is more dark. You know, if you go back and listen to it, people can understand it now. But back then, it was it was a little scary for people because we weren't talking about beers and yeah, you know, and, brawling you know, and this and that. You absolutely. Know what I mean? And let's just we should hey, what's up, Fred? <laughs> we should also mention you know, that you and both Eric are doing great. Everlast, of course, has oh, his yeah, record. Oh yeah, big shout out, Eric. Eric, what's up, you. brother? Ah, you're you're man, my brother. We are so proud of you, my yeah, man. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> We love Eric, man. He's totally yeah, cool. He's great. All right, we still have more to talk about with Fred and Lethal, but right now, we the latest from Green Day. Nice Guys Finish Last is from the Nimrod album and also from the sound of Fred Durst, DJ Lethal, both from Limp Biscuit. And in the next hour, John Spencer Blues Explosion will also be here wreaking havoc, so don't go away, right? Right. Yeah! Right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Well, that's awesome. Little right. Bob, that was great. Now, we're going to be also hanging on New Year's Eve because you're going to be here for MTV's New Year's Eve. Like this oh, man, plan. we're going to rock the house at the drop oh, of the ball yeah. with Method Man. I came to bring the pain, hardcore for your brain. It's going to be a great time, That's going to be history. That's cool. Now, well, tell me a bit about was Family Values one of the best, the most fun for you guys? Cause I would have to say so, man. It was just amazing. I mean, to be able to play shows and arenas and, and you know, live our dream and, like, just as far as, the combination of everybody together was just so diverse that like when we all got together to just hang out and everything it was just madness it was like i mean so many people in one building the power the energy the vibe it was incredible we, you know we got to design a huge production flying saucers hanging out backstage eating kentucky fried chicken with ice cube and dub c and like <laughs> cool. you know kicking yeah, it like but, whoa and like yeah. puff daddy came to the shows and like you know, and it was just, just every day awesome, was man. a new story. You can tell, you know. What I mean, it was like, like there wasn't country. one day that it was boring. You know, what I mean, it was like something happened every day. Whether it was like cops trying to shut down Ramstein yeah. and that, and watching if he really was gonna like do his little thing. Yeah, not nah, you know what I mean, or like if the <laughs> thing was gonna explode properly. Or, you know, it was like, and it always got me too. I was like, I'd be walking by and. Did you, you know, come to like, the Ozfest too? Because you guys were playing. Oh yeah, that was. I mean, great. what could be better than coming out of a you know twenty foot tall toilet? I almost came out of that toilet with you. And hey, you almost did that day. That's the day that Lynn came out naked. Yeah, that's right. Remember that? What ended up happening was that the shit set got cut a little short because there was a band running behind. So I never came out of the toilet with you that day. Yeah. Dude, I wish you would have came out of the toilet because nothing feels better than coming out of the toilet for like twenty thousand people. <laughs> <laughs> great feeling. And uh, Evan from Barhazer got up and did jump yeah, around with you guys that night. Yes, yeah, which was very cool. But we're blessed. We're just the luckiest guys in the yeah, world. Yeah, we've got lucky on your show. It's the baddest show. Well, you guys are great. coolest videos, and I don't know what to say except for. 
That's cool that you guys are here, though. It was great to have yeah, you. Thank you, man. You're working on a new album. You have a bunch of stuff almost already done, don't you? Yeah, oh, we're, yeah. we're, we're oh, yeah. done with drums, uh, bass, we're on guitars, and then uh, me and Fred are going to take a couple weeks and do our thingy things, and uh, Dude, working with Terry Date. The man. Scott, 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 Scott is Scott working Wyland. with you and Terry Day. What and a Terry great Day. combination. I mean, oh, it's man. like, it's the dream trio here. You know, we're, we're kind of producing ourselves with the help of like some other inputs and, you know, Melody Man, Mr. Scott Willen, you know, yeah. and like Terry Day, oh, Soundgarden. Garden. I mean, like, what can you oh, say? Yeah. We're, we're definitely... You can't argue that. It's going to be a strong record, somewhere else. of course. Yeah. It's going to be oh, huge and it's going to be fun and we're going to give you a great video to put on your show. Excellent. Well, some fun. Well, I'll be hanging with you on New Year's, and then I'll see you in Jacksonville. We are going to see each other in Jacksonville, right? We're going to hang out down Jacksonville, there. Jacksonville, Florida, baby. Jacksonville, Florida is where it's at. Look for, yeah. look for me and Fred. We'll be hanging around. Yes, we will. Absolutely. If you get a chance, pick up the album, $3 Billy All, from Limp Bizkit, if you don't have it already. And don't forget to check them out New Year's Eve right here on MTV. Right now, take a look at another video that you directed from the album. It's Sour. 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 Absolutely. Check out the lawn guy. He's all about teaming up with me because he feels sorry for me for taking all this abuse from this mean, mean girl. So he splashes her with a sprinkler. Check it out. Guys, thanks for coming by. <laughs> Good to have you. Fred, right, good one, man. Hey, man. Me, thank you. Good to hang with you guys, oh, man. Pleasure.